We are doing a Friday night reading. Let's see what's going on in the energy, what's going around Libra, the environment. Welcome back also. Thank you guys for coming in on a Friday. I know you're probably going out tonight, seeing your friends. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Another one here. What else is in the cards for Libra? The King of Cups. Okay. Judgment. Interesting. Scorpio energy and the Ace of Pentacles, but it is reversed tonight. So we have an Ace of Pentacles upside down. An offer is not completely coming in. Some of you are like, that's okay. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Somewhat of an offer is on delay. So that's what that's telling me is when it's reversed. There was one coming in. Okay. I'm assuming here that it had plans to come in. Why the judgment? Let's look at your King of Cups too. Why is judgment here? Thank you, Spirit. Because somebody is still lingering to hold on to a situation they want to and they have chosen to in this particular story tonight. So they're holding on and that's the decision at this current time. Can you show me the Four of Pentacles, please? Can you show me this Four of Pentacles? Interesting. We haven't seen a return of the Four of Pentacles in a while. So let's see what it's about. Can you show me the Four of Pentacles? why are we holding on or who is this person so they're holding on because currently there's a seven of swords and a five of wands and as you know five of wands is conflict conflict loss and change um hmm there could be conflict surrounding whoever is doing this judgment tonight and judgment can ring true for any Libra. You can be judgment. So whoever is making the decision had conflict around them. Show me seven of swords now, because this is interesting. We have two cards here, somewhat of drear, dreary attempts, dreary attempts to come at you. I'm going to get it. It did flip. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so possibly a message from a Knight of Wands. These are the fast actors of the tarot. They come in really fast. They either have a message or they have communication. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, though, is the only slow one. So I just wanted to point that out. There's the Knight of Wands with fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we do have the King of Cups. So lots of emotion coming from a King of Cups. And they do want to come toward you. Let's look at the factors of that. What's the King of Cups then? That's puzzling. What's the King of Cups? Let's do that again. What's the King of Cups? Thank you. Okay, so we got the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like they think that there is illusions of which the Libra hasn't been brought into or doesn't have information on. Okay, that's what I'm getting is the Libra didn't get the message or something didn't arrive. It could be that this person wanted to contact um, and be in your energy. Let's keep looking. The Eight of Wands. They're going to ask you about that if they decide to message, if they are a person here who connects. If you, can this be a new person too? It looks like it's a person who did Seven of Swords in the past, okay? Like a Seven of Swords action. We have lying, deception, stealing, possibly betrayal. So, I see that as an indicator of someone you already know, okay? And they want to come in like the Knight of Wands. Lots of Wands for this person's current energy. We have the Eight and the Knight. And I'm going to show you because they're right beside each other here. And it's showing that there has to be something communicated, okay? Whether or not they're fast here, okay? Because we do live in the 3D world. This person still has to communicate something. So that's what we see here in the message. Let's continue. Show me more of the Seven of Swords. Who are the factors here to give back okay so there's some type of generosity that has to be back toward the libra maybe this person owes you like a physical thing that you have given to them you know what i'm getting libra i'm picking up this energy that somebody needs to give you something that was rightfully yours and i do feel like it's a physical item for some reason like it's not something that you're going to be re you, you can't receive in a message it's something physically that you had owed Tell me why that's the message. Can you show me more about the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, so maybe it is a conversation. The Ten of Pentacles can be a conversation about finances. It can be something regarding the two of you. Let's see a little bit more. Or maybe you are the Ten of Pentacles to this person at the end of the day. They see everything happening with you. The devil, okay? So there is a toxicity here between both of you. Um, 
or this person could have served you sort of like a slice of this in the past maybe lots of gaslighting i would say almost like reeling you in libra and you are tired of it you broke away tired of it queen of swords <laughs> tired of it because you went out and partied no i'm just kidding you went out and you actually found better people for you three of cups it's a joke so let's see here show me the outcome between these two people if anything it was just humorous tonight all right let's see what's in the energy show me king of cups please if this is libra's story the king of cups is associated to the nine of swords so this person is attached to anxiety um, they could be someone here who's real fidgety, like I'm getting a fidgety action. Um, some of them can, I feel like this person smokes cigarettes for some reason. Like they smoke, they could be partaking in alcohol at this time. Like there's some anxiety that this person feels even in contacting you. There could be mutual people involved, old friends, maybe current friends. Let me see what this message is. What's the devil, please? The chariot. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed. It's always cancer. <laughs> so we have the chariot card here of cancer. I'm sorry to laugh there if you guys like didn't, you know, we don't laugh at signs here, but it's just always the chariot on my channel. So I just thought that was funny. Let's see. We have the nine of swords, which is a little bit of Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius, and we also have the chariot. I think someone's working the momentum to come I don't know. It's almost like they're using somebody else, though, to get to you. There's a male and female here. Can you show me the chariot? <laughs> the strength card. Okay, I guess something wanted to talk. The knight of swords. Yeah, fast communication. He's getting on that horse. It's exactly what we just described. Libra, the knight of swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius can be a Leo, too. And we have strength. Again, mustering up the strength to come and convey some sort of idea. Okay, because we have sort of that basis here with the Eight of Wands messages. This is coming in with communication and telling you something with that torch in the mouth of the bird. That's crazy. That's a, that's a lot. But let's see here. We also have the Six of Swords to come in and heal something with you because maybe they feel like you need a friend at this time. Okay, or maybe somebody to talk to. Let's see that. The Six of Swords is the most, um, I would say, the most abundant card here at the end. So let's see that. What's the Six of Swords? Please? Beautiful Knight of Swords. Look at this Libra in yellow. Okay, <laughs> and it does match today. But it's so funny because I was actually wondering what the Knight of Swords looked like in this deck. I have never seen it because there's so many cards in this deck. So... I've never seen it, and that's the Knight of Swords. Let's let's look at that Six of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, somebody wants to get together with you, possibly just have a meal here. Um, this also can be a new person, like it can be a new Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It can be another Libra, Gemini, okay? Aquarius, who else do we have here? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some more, a Scorpio, and we also have a Scorpio with the King of Cups. So... And also the moon is Cancer. So we have most of the water signs. I think all of the fire signs here. And we do have someone with commitments. And they do want somewhat. This is also a reunion card. It can be also to gather with you. It's ceremonies as well. So this would be either someone's quinceanera or a wedding, right? Um, and I do think that somebody wants to gather with you in that essence. It has a lightness to it. But I don't know why they have a lot of anxiety toward you okay let's look at the nine of swords this one is painstakingly asking me to clarify so let's look at the nine of swords what's the nine of swords because they've been a hermit okay so they're having virgo energy this person could quite literally have virgo in their chart all right maybe even some libra in their chart somewhere this person's been alone for quite a while Maybe they feel like they can't reach you, like maybe you cannot be spoken to on social media or you have some sort of block or Libra, you don't check your messages or something like that. Can you show me the Hermit and the Nine of Swords, please? Can you show me the Hermit and the Nine of Swords? Thank you. The Eight of Cups. They want to discuss both of you having walked away from each other, okay? So there's a discussion here that should be had. I don't know if you're going to partake in it. Libras, I'm not sure if you are here anymore. And what I mean by that is I'm not sure that you are still in this phase of life. I think you've far surpassed. Um, maybe you will give this person a try, 
okay? So reading number one is in the bag. I'm going to go next with something very, very different. So I'll see you in video too. I'll see you guys.